coming up this Saturday night at the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. It is the Friday Night SmackDown exclusive Battleground live premiere event streaming live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And it is certainly a night that could change the landscape of the blue brand forever. One of the most highly anticipated matches of the evening for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. The last man standing match between the Irish Ace, JD McDonough, and the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov has held the gold since November the 19th of last year at Survivor Series. This is a man who won the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic Tournament and as voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Breakout Star of the Year. Dragunov has certainly led that momentum into 2024, but there has been an ever-looming thorn in his side, which is J.D. McDonough. We've said it before, we will say it again. McDonough, even in defeat, will not be satisfied until he slays the dragon and takes the gold that Dragunov has been holding on to. McDonough and Dragunov, no strangers to each other. They have done this battle on numerous occasions, but every time the Irish Ace has gotten knocked down, he has come back for another fight. Dragunov looking to close this chapter on his career forever. JD McDonough, this may be his last chance. It is a last man standing matchup. Anything goes, no holds barred. The Cruiserweight Championship of the World is on the line. The SmackDown Tag Team Division has been heating up as of late and one team that has certainly been making waves are the number one contenders, Axiom and Nathan Frazier. Really coming together just over the last month on SmackDown have scored some upset victories. First, over Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio of Latino World Order, and then, of course, the victory, count-out victory, I will bite, over Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium. But a win is a win nonetheless, and Frazier and Axiom have worked their way to the front of the line to challenge Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, A-Town down under for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Theory and Waller have held the gold since WrestleMania Sunday. They are your SmackDown. 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners already with a successful championship defense under their belt back on the debut SmackDown of the season against Alpha Academy. But will they be able to turn away these red hot cruiserweights? Nathan Frazier and Axiom try their chance at the gold against A Town Down Under for the WWE Tag Team Championships. And speaking of Latino World Order, Santos Escobar signed, sealed, and set to be delivered on Saturday, going one-on-one -on -one with El Idolo, Andrade. Ever since Andrade's return to Friday Night SmackDown last month, he has been trying to really get a wedge between the LWO. Andrade believes that Rey Mysterio has been wasting his time associating with Santos Escobar, associating with Del Toro, Wild, and Zelina Vega. Andrade's been in the ring with Rey Mysterio. He has a respect for the Hall of Famer. Andrade, ever since his SmackDown return, has been trying to lure Rey Mysterio away from the LWO, join up as business partners seemingly, or more importantly, tag team partners in the ring. Rey Mysterio has denied his, his exit from the LWO, if you will, and Santos Escobar has not taken lightly to Andrade's interference. These two men have been really button heads over the last few weeks on SmackDown. Santos Escobar eliminating Andrade from the number one contender's battle royal last week. Andrade and Escobar with a score to be settled this Saturday night at Battleground. Santos Escobar looking to defend the honor of the LWO. Andrade not getting his wish, and now he looks to take it out on the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Several more championship matches signed, including the United States Championship. As we mentioned, the number one contenders battle royal last week on SmackDown. The victor was Carmelo Hayes, a man who was recently drafted over to the blue brand, really continuing his championship desires Heading over here to Friday Night SmackDown was targeting Sami Zayn in the Intercontinental Championship over on Raw, but now Melo has a new target in mind, and that is the United States Championship and the man who holds the gold, the human highlight reel Ricochet. These two men no strangers to each other. A couple of years ago during Carmelo Hayes' reign in NXT, these two men once clashed for the NXT North American Championship. Ricochet knows what he's dealing with this Saturday night. Not only the one-of-one-like talent that is Carmelo Hayes, but of course the X-Factor, 
of the TMG, the Trick Mellow Gang. Trick Williams going to be looming at ringside. Ricochet's first defense just a few weeks after winning the red, white, blue, and gold may be his only defense. The odds may be stacked against the champion come Saturday night, but Ricochet has proven time and time again that even when the odds are stacked against the one and only, Ricochet knows how to shine. He knows how to thrive under pressure. This Saturday, Ricochet defends the United States Championship for the very first time, but will Carmelo Hayes be spoiling that reign in the early going? The Women's World Championship of Friday Night SmackDown set to be headlined with this WrestleMania rematch. The Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, who has held the gold since Sunday night, November the 19th at Survivor Series last year, goes 1v1 against Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel has been somebody that all the eyes have been on her throughout 2024. Raquel has performed under pressure, similar to Ricochet moments ago. Even when the odds are stacked against her, Raquel knows how to bounce back. Unfortunately, back at WrestleMania, Raquel Rodriguez collapsed under the pressure, tapped out to Shayna Baszler in her home state of Texas at the grandest stage of them all. But that one bump in the road has not keeping down a woman who was the Elimination Chamber victor several months ago. Win after win after win for Raquel Rodriguez on SmackDown in 2024 has made her an undeniable number one contender for the Women's World Championship. Shayna Baszler knows what she's up against. She knows that Raquel was within inches back at WrestleMania of winning the Women's World Championship. And I think Baszler may be a little bit worried heading into this match. Cracking Raquel over the dome with the Women's World title a few weeks ago. Baszler may be nervous, but she's going to have to put that behind her and get her head on straight as she runs it back with Raquel Rodriguez one-on-one -on -one for the first time since WrestleMania for the Women's World Championship. It is the matchup that was signed just last weekend after the events of Friday Night SmackDown last week. The Steel Cage match. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, takes on the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. In a matchup that may end up going down as the rivalry of the year, Cody and Orton look to write the last chapter of this story that has been brewing since the month of January. Cody Rhodes defeated Randy Orton back on Friday Night SmackDown just a few weeks prior to January's Elimination Chamber event. Randy Orton did not take kindly of it, put Cody Rhodes on the shelf for weeks, Cody came back for vengeance and defeated Randy Orton at WrestleMania. That loss did not sit well with the Apex Predator, especially after Randy Orton's 2023 was plagued with big time losses on big time stages. Randy Orton came back, wanted to do what he did back in January to Cody Rhodes all over again, and that send him home in an ambulance. Randy Orton made good on his promise back at Backlash a few weeks ago in San Juan, Puerto Rico. A brutal fight where Cody Rhodes left the island of Puerto Rico in an ambulance. Randy Orton thought he wrote the last chapter, but Cody Rhodes came back for more last week on SmackDown, trapping Randy Orton inside a steel cage and reminding Randy Orton that this story was far from over. Who will write the final chapter? Who will finish the story? The steel cage surrounds the ring. Pinfall, submission, or escape the confines of the cage. Will Cody Rhodes be the victor, or will Randy Orton end the American Nightmare for good? And it is the main event of Battleground this Saturday night. For the first time ever, the World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as the Ring General, Gunther, defends the gold against the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. Gunther has only suffered one loss in his SmackDown career since debuting back in December of 2022. All throughout 2023 and in 2024 so far, no matter the superstar who has stepped up to the ring general, Gunther, more often than not, has been stepping over the competition, winning the world championship late last year, already successfully defending the gold against the likes of Drew McIntyre, Ricochet, Edge, the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, as well as Braun Breaker. But Roman Reigns has been a looming presence ever since his return at WrestleMania. Roman Reigns has done it all in this business, but came back for two reasons. 
win championships and test himself against the new competition that plagues the landscape of Raw and SmackDown. A free agent in the WWE, Roman Reigns free to take his talents wherever he so wishes, but he has chosen SmackDown as of late. Roman Reigns has his eyes on the ring general Gunther. He wants to become the second man to ever defeat this dominating presence, all the while becoming the world heavyweight champion. Roman speared Gunther back in AT&T Stadium to end WrestleMania Saturday in March. Gunther has not forgotten after retaining his world title at Backlash and Roman Reigns earning his championship opportunity over Drew McIntyre. These two men are on a collision course. Their paths will cross this Saturday night in the main event in Sacramento, California. It is the ring general Gunther, the tribal chief Roman Reigns, who is leaving Battleground as the world heavyweight champion. We find out live this Saturday night in the Golden One Center, Sacramento, California, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Do not miss the SmackDown exclusive event of Battleground.